Partnet recently launched their new WordPress plugin Partnet Grid, a brand new grid builder as part of their powerful suite of WordPress plugins. Alongside PAIF or Partnet add-ons for Elementor and Partnet Forms, you now have an arsenal of tools and controls to build stunning websites. This drag and drop builder allows you to easily grid, filter and search for posts, terms, products and pretty much anything you want. Partnet Grid is a standalone WordPress plugin and works with any page builder. It allows you to freely create card styles like these and more using any and all of the elements and controls available in the builder. A card can be a media container, a blog post, a WooCommerce product, a call to action or basically anything you can build with the available elements and controls. It can display static or dynamic content. Grids then are essentially a collection of cards and facets. You can build media galleries, post grids, product grids, terms and taxonomy grids and much more. You can build grid layouts like mosaic, blog, carousels, scrolling and much more. The possibilities are truly endless. The only limit here is your imagination. Facets allow you to build smart filtering, search, sorting, pagination and more into any grid. It is essentially a query builder to filter through all the data in your cards and grids. Advanced filtering and instant lightning fast search for absolutely everything. And it's the perfect companion for WooCommerce. And it integrates with the big dynamic content plugins such as Advanced Custom Fields, Jet Engine, Metabox, Toolset and Pods to pull dynamic content into your cards, grids and facets. With the release of Pyatnet Grid, they are offering a 20% discount for early adopters up to October 4th. If you're an existing Pyatnet Forms or Pyatnet Add-ons user, you can use your login email for those accounts as the coupon code to claim a further 20% off. What's even more, if you're new to Pyatnet Add-ons or Pyatnet Forms, use the coupon code PyatnetGrid to give you 20% off your purchase until October 4th. So head over to their website now and grab hold of this amazing deal. I've put the link in the description along with the coupon codes. If you're watching this video late, you can still use our coupon code also in the description to get 10% off your purchase on all these plugins. These are affiliate links, so if you decide to purchase, I'll receive a commission at no additional cost to you, of course. Hi again, I'm Peter from the Ultimate WordPress Guide and today I'll take you through a brief overview of the plugin, show you where everything is, what you can do and so on. Take a look at our other video tutorials coming soon that covers each of the specific areas of what I cover here today, such as the card designer, grid designer, facets, search, analytics and more. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to tap the bell to stay up to date with all of our new content. To get started and to activate your new plugin is pretty easy. Head over to the pyatnetgrid.com website and into my account, onto purchase history, view details and downloads and grab the pyatnetgrid.zip file that contains the plugin and download it. Once you've downloaded and installed the pyatnet grid plugin, all you have to do is enter the username and password from the Pyatnet Grid website, log in and activate and you're ready to get started. Not much else to do on the settings page but that. If at any time you need support, write to us at pyatnetgrid-support at pyatnet.com. Their support guys are eagerly waiting to speak to you. Now let's take a look at what we have in the menu. First we have a section for cards, grids, facets, archive templates, templates, an import feature, and then finally, analytics. So let's take a look at the cards first. I'll click on the cards menu icon, and this takes me to all the cards that I currently have configured in my grid builder. Now I've got three options in cards, new, import, or edit. So let's look at these briefly. I create new cards by clicking on the add new button, 
That brings me to the add new post section where I need to add a title. Here I can also specify custom fields, any existing custom fields that I may have, or I can go and enter any new custom fields, which allows me to add extra metadata to any post that I can use as part of my card design. Next, I have the option to import demos. If I click on the import demos button, you'll see starter templates that you can use to begin your design. To use this demo, I simply click on the import button and that will add the card to my current selection. And then the third option I have is to take an existing card and simply click on edit with Pyotnet Grid. Now I'm not going to cover all the details here. Check out the video on how to create cards. But as you can see, here I can add various items starting from sections, text, icons, quick views for WooCommerce products, variation swatches, short codes, icon lists, and so on. At the bottom of the screen, I can toggle between the various responsive modes, tablet view, mobile view. I can click on the eye icon to show me a preview of my card. On the gear icon is where I can set the general global settings, which opens up the option to specify default gutters, custom CSS, and any custom JavaScript that I may have. Lastly, I have the WordPress icon, which will bring me back to the WordPress dashboard. And then obviously, of course, the save button to save any changes. As you can also see, each of these has a shortcode that you can use to place the cards in your website, depending on the page builder you're using. Next, we have grids. Pretty much the same options as before with cards. You can create new, edit existing, or import a demo as a starting point and expand from there. We've added a few very cool demos to start with. Importing these demos will also import the cards and settings required to display that particular demo set. Next up is facets. And this is really a broad term for everything around filtering, sorting, search, pagination, and more, all in one. Again here, we have the same three options, create new, edit existing, or import demos. One additional setting here allows you to specify which grid that you've created you want to assign this facet to. Next over, we have the archive templates. And here is where you can build an entire archive template using the grid builder, using either pre-created grids or entire templates, which we'll look at in just a moment. Here, when I select the archive template, you can see I also have the option to edit name, specify any custom fields that I want to associate, and then click on edit with PyNet grid. This will bring me into the PyotNet Grid Editor, where I have a number of different options available to drag and drop onto the page and create my archive template layout. When I'm done creating, I'll simply go down to the Display Conditions option, where I can then specify the display conditions to include this archive on any of the options that I have available in the list. And as you can see, the options are quite vast. To head back to the main editor page, I can simply hit the grid icon that'll take me back to the options available. The collapse button will collapse the grid to give me more design real estate and clicking that again will expand the editor. Next up then are the templates. Here you can build an entirely new template from scratch and even use other templates inside of this template. You can add grids, facets, and pretty much any other design elements to give you exactly what you need. The import feature, as the name suggests, allows you to import JSON files, either of elements created here or elsewhere to use as a starting point. Simply choose a file and hit import. And then finally is the analytics a truly powerful section that shows you what has been viewed, filtered and more to give you valuable insights on what your visitors are doing and then optimize your site to get optimum results. 
With PilotNet Grid, you can now build beautiful media galleries like these using cards of various sizes, animations, dynamic content. And on the right, we've got a facet with search, category tags and pagination to filter through your card layouts. You can create beautiful block grids with dynamic content, pulling in terms and taxonomy information, post titles and also a facet that will page through the grid and all the posts you have on your website. Stunning carousels with a variety of card layouts and designs that you can also filter through in scrolling mode. For WooCommerce, you can create beautiful cards with images that change on hover, dynamic content, pulling in price and product information, wish list buttons and creating scrolling effects for your best selling products using facets. You can create post grids like these ones, again with dynamic content, large cards, smaller cards, just displaying all of the right information and facets to filter through your cards with ease. You can build taxonomy terms grids like this one with featured images, animation on hover, embedded text and a scrolling effect. And here again, using a combination of my WooCommerce product card and facets, I can filter through all of the products that I have available in my WooCommerce library. Thanks for watching. That's all for this quick overview of PyatNet Grid. Stay tuned for more tutorials. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful or helpful, remember to give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications and stay tuned for more great content. I've put a few links to tools, services and plugins that I use, including this one, in the description below. Be sure to also grab the coupon code to claim your discount when you buy either PyatNet Grid, PyatNet Add-ons or PyatNet Forms. These are affiliate links. If you make a purchase through one of them, I will receive a commission at no additional cost to you, of course. I only endorse products that I've personally used and your support helps me put out more great content. So thanks. Bye for now.